Hey guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Guys, we're going to be pulling shards today. It's 10 times and we're going to pull about 100 so we can get that rare that we need for this G-Nut, D's Nuts. Actually, let's check out that first. So let's go to Summon Rush. So we need to pull 100 Ancients to get 2,000 points so we can get this rare and you have to get this rare to complete this fusion. And G-Nuts, D-Nuts, GNU, whatever you want to call him, he is 100% worth. He is an absolute beast for Finite. And, you know, I think he's going to make Finite hard, just a piece of cake, and everyone needs to be farming that because it does have the best gear sets in the game for sure. So, yeah, we got... You know, so we're going to pull 100 Ancients and then I'm going to finish off with Green Shards. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could use four Sacreds. But in my opinion, it's definitely better to save Sacreds because if you pull 100 Ancients, the chances of in a two times event, you've got a pretty good chance of getting Legendary, but you definitely have a better chance or better odds of getting Legendary with four Sacreds for a two time, in my opinion. The other thing I want to say as well is it's really frustrating that, you know, 100 Ancients, if you pulled that in, say, a Champion Chase Tournament, you probably would get a Legendary book and we're not even close and I just feel like I'm wasting so many resources to not even get two legendary books is a bit annoying. I wish Polarian would just change this a little bit and just make it a bit more bit more accessible for the free to play, but it is what it is. Just have to roll with those punches. Also, guys, I am doing an account takeover. If you want to win, all you got to do is uh, drop me a sub, drop a comment below, and join me on Discord so I can contact you to let you know you've won. What does it entail? Well, basically, I will look at whatever team you want. One team, a clan boss, arena, tag, whatever you want. And I'll help build you a team to help you progress in any content you want. And yeah, it should be fun. So yeah, good luck, guys. Hopefully you do get that W. So back to the ancient shards. Uh, Ten times. This is it was up for grabs. There's uh, Krisk. Um, we're definitely not pulling voids as free to play. I'd say you should only pull voids if you're an absolute whale, in my opinion. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me, but Krisk is an amazing champion. Definitely worth going for. Uh, I'd say his best two spots are probably Clan Boss, Doom Tower Waves, and um, Hydra. But yeah, he's god tier for all of that. Uh, all three of these champions right here can be used at a high end level for Hydra. The one that I want the most is uh, Koruga. Koruga? Death Bell, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> please, 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 someone spell it phonetically so I can learn to say it properly. Uh, he looks pretty cool. I like that he's like almost like half dwarf, half orc. Um, but yeah, got a really interesting kit and definitely looks like he could do some work in Hydra. Uh, Andrissia, I think she's overrated. I think she's not that great. All three of these champions are absolutely amazing, to be honest. Uh, Virgis, is it Virgis or Virgis? Virgis. He can be used to solo content like Scarab. Um, Skull Crusher, probably the best out of all of them just because he can be used in loads of different um, clan boss teams and really help bump up your numbers until we get that two key or one key on Ultra Nightmare. And then Jareg is a great champion as well. I still use him in lots of uh, free to pay friendly team comps for Doom Tower uh, bosses. And yeah, he's an amazing champion. He can carry in a lot of content. So yeah, all really good champions right there. And let's start pulling some shards. So let's pull 100 and hopefully we get something really juicy for the account. Oh, look at that. Nothing but blue. Oh, that's just painful, man. I I'm so not used to pulling outside of two times. I have not pulled in a two times for at least, I'm going to say like three years. Like seriously, I just don't pull... During a two time, uh, sorry, during a 10 times, it's just not worth it. So painful. Attract, a great champion, uh, can burn Spider, even can be used in Spider 25, so definitely worth. Um, but no good for Spider Hard, though, unfortunately, with the changes to that. Got a Skull Crusher, like I said, absolute beast when it comes to Clan Boss. Oh, here we go. Oh, Septimus. 
All right, I am pleased with that. I wanted this guy for a long time. Um, he was way more OP back in the day. But yeah, he is absolute like Dungeons 20. I mean, he could like just rip through Fire Knight. Uh, wanted, and also Spider as well. Spider 20, he can like, I think like almost pretty much one shot the boss. But yeah, this guy is awesome. Like I've wanted him for such a long time. Could definitely do some interesting stuff with him. But I think he's going to have to go on the back burner, which is a bit annoying. I've got so many other champions to level out. Oh, I'd love to like... Someone in my clan was talking about using him in like live arena. So he can ignore shields and block damage buff. So that's that could be really useful like to counter like Necrid and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it's all about his A1. Resets his champions. No, I don't know. Well, I know one of his abilities basically, if he gets a kill, he can just keep popping off. But yeah, really cool champion. Really interesting. Definitely want to do something with him. But yeah, he's going to have to take a seat for now because i've definitely got better champions to be leveling and we've got about i think 40 shards to go but man septimus one of the ogs and you know i only just hit mercy recently so that was like in under 60 that's pretty crazy oh wait a sec ambassador lethin is this one of the champions you need for the fusion? No way. All right, this just got a hell of a lot easier. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to pull anymore. There's no need for me to waste more of my resources. So this is what you need to do when you're free to play. Like, I admit, I just got really lucky there, but you need to... Oh, I still need to pull because this guy is void and he's one of the special ones. That's that's annoying. Damn. Okay. Yeah, so I'm still going to have to do it anyway. Um that is annoying. Damn. I thought I thought I was so clever right there. I was like, "Oh yeah." You know, bringing out that 2000 IQ, but obviously not. Oh. Damn you, Plarium. Damn you. Oh, I can't believe it. I was so hyped. I was like, "Oh, that's just saved me a whole bunch of shards okay so miscreated monster uh i don't think he's as strong as he used to be but he was like the king for spider back in the day especially spider 20 you can just throw out big fat shields for your whole team and protect you but um oh still i can't get over that i just can't get over it oh man that just sucks so yeah that's 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 shard pulls done um let's just double check yeah, so I'm going to finish off the rest with greens. But yeah, we got Septimus, absolutely amazing. Polarium done me dirty with that, um, with that epic pull. But do you know what? I probably it means that I'll probably skip like Ice Golem or something. Um, or just like, you know, whatever tournament where I don't get, where I don't, you know, obviously you need to get those void, those void champions. But otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, skip, skip a couple of tournaments, save my energy. Probably do um, Sand Devil. That's probably a good way to spend my resources and, you know, ascend some of my gear and make my other champions really strong. But anyway, let's check out last week's winner for the account takeover. And this week's winner is Dale, aka Charlink. Um, so this is his account. He's got some really nice champions on here. He is a low spender, but man, has he got lucky. He's got a Chrissia. I think this is like so many people's most wanted champion. Absolute beast for Hydra, can just absolutely wreck it. Um, but yeah, got some really nice champions on the account. And he's asked me to help him out with clan boss. So the team comp that I'm thinking is, I've seen an old school team comp that can get 100 mil. He doesn't have all the champions to fit the role. But I think if we did Brogni, Lanakis, Iron Brago, Skullcrusher and Draco, then we should be able to get at least 40 mil with a pretty decent gear. Like if you had amazing gear, possibly 50, 60 mil. But I'd say with like sort of average gear, every champion in stalwart, very possible to get 40 mil. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about though, just for everyone, uh, this is a mistake that I see all the time on people's accounts. And it's the gear that they save on their accounts. Can anyone spot the problem? The most important substat on gear is speed. You need speed. Speed is so important. If your champions are too slow, you know, they're not going to be able to do stuff. And like for clan boss, for Hydra, 
all sorts of content you need your champions to be fast and usually you know champion speeds need to be a minimum of like 200 for most pve content and then up to like 250 even 300 so by not having gear with substats of speed that is really important there that's a nice piece that's pretty decent for this account but that's the that's what you want to be looking for is you want to have gear with substats of speed on it and ideally you want double triple quadruple rolls on it but anyway, that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in a video soon. Peace.